Okay, a bar graph display is a, made with LEDs is a good way to get data from sensors and, and display it in a, uh, an easy to read format. And this is pretty simple. The code for this is, is fairly simple. And this is uses only five LEDs, but you can have as many LEDs as you have digital outputs on your Arduino. Right now I'm using the pressure sensor. It's a resistive pressure sensor, so I have a, a little voltage divider here set up with this resistive pressure sensor in, in the voltage divider. And as I press harder, I can make the LEDs move from right to left. And you can actually set up an alarm. I've got, a, I've got some code for an alarm that will sound when the pressure gets too high. And the beauty of something like this as a display is it's pretty simple to do. And it allows you to have your Arduino stand alone. You don't need the a connection to the computer anymore to have a project that's going to give you data from a sensor. Using uh, regular seven segment displays or liquid crystal displays is nice, but getting watching the data change is hard to do when you have these digits that are changing. So there's many different ways to get data to uh, visualize data, but I think this is one of the better ways to do it. So I'm going to show you the code and I'm I'm going to show you the code and I'm going to show you uh, the wiring diagram for this. There are many ways to write code to do what we did in this project, but uh, this I set up the code in a way to where I, I feel like even uh, beginners could um, make sense of it and take it and expand it and do whatever they want to do with it. So right here we have, at the beginning, we're setting up uh, the five LEDs, and I'm assigning those to ports 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Um, we have two variables that we're using in here. Um, one of them is the, a name for analog input 0, and we'll call them that the sensor pin. And then we also have a sensor value that's going to be changed um, as we get different readings coming into A0. Um, we have to set up uh, the pins as outputs, so LED 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, which correspond to pins 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12, are all set as outputs. And that's what we have in the setup area. Um, in the loop, we're just continually taking a sensor reading. We're taking an analog reading and um, from A0, which is what sensor pins assigned to. And we're taking that and assigning that to the sensor value. And then we're checking the sensor value. And if it's uh, greater than 0 and less than or equal to 100, then we're turning on the first LED. And then if it's greater than 100 and less than or equal to 200, we're turning on the second LED, and so on and so on. And then when we get up to the maximum it can be, which is between 400 and 1023, then we're writing to the last LED. We're turning the last LED high. But we're also setting a tone. If there's something attached to pin 13, we're making a 1000 hertz tone for half a second, which is 500 milliseconds. And that sets our little, uh, our little alarm. Um, then we're delaying for a tenth of a second, 100 milliseconds, and then after that's to allow us to show the value, the, the LED that we want to light up. And then we're resetting them all low again. And they're only set low for a very brief period of time before the whole process starts up again. We take another reading and we continually keep updating that uh, sensor value and showing those LED values. So it responds pretty quickly. And this seems to work really well and you can add as many LEDs as you want to this code just by following the example up here on the screen. So good luck.